Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are doing a little bit of a different video. Uh, this is not going to be any gameplay or anything, but I wanted to share something with you all. So if you play any kind of legacy challenge or any kind of like extensive generation, anything like that in your sims and you want to keep track of everything because we all know that the family tree in the game isn't that good. A lot of like the older sims start disappearing and just things get like a little bit confusing. So a lot of us resorted to the Plum Tree app which was a fantastic like family tree website. You could upload pictures, you can do bios, you can put in their traits. Um, just like basically anything that you wanted to do, it was there. But unfortunately it did shut down and I was really bummed because I used it for like my main legacy challenge. I used it quite a lot and I'm sure a lot of you guys did too. So I have been desperately scrounging the interwebs for a replacement. I even tried looking up like regular family tree websites that weren't tailored to the Sims and like a lot of them just... <laughs> They just didn't do it for me. But I got an email the other day from a new website called The Sims Tree. I wanted to make a video about it, about my first impressions if I think that it's a like a good substitute for Plum Tree app and all that good stuff. So let me read you guys what they offer. It's pretty great, honestly. The ability to track your dynasty, not only downwards through generations, but also upwards. Full customization of the entire tree. You can change the background, icon radius, line color, highlighting, and more. Um, you can specify pets for characters. You can import your tree from Plum Tree app, which is huge. I thought I was gonna have to start fresh, but we'll see how that works. I'll show you guys everything right now when we get into it. For each Sim and Dynasty, there's a photo gallery to capture all the moments of their lives. So you can upload a literal gallery for each character. That is insane. Um, Built-in photo editor that allows you to edit photos right on the service. It says soon they will launch a gallery of trees and then, um, yeah, they're constantly working on updates to make their service more convenient for the community, which is freaking dope. Everything sounds so good. So, you know, they did reach out to me and they made me, um, like, a, a collaborative account, I think, and it has, like, access to all the services, so I'm not sure if... You're gonna have to pay for all these extra features or if everything is free, but we'll figure all out all of that. Figure all of that out today. I um, haven't tried anything on the website yet. I just logged in. So yeah, first impressions and all that jazz in this video. Thank you for being here with me. If you want to subscribe, that would be freaking fantastic. Come join the family. I have so much Sims content on my channel from Let's Plays to cast videos, to build videos. I'm sure there's something in there that you might like. So come join the family. It's a good time over here. All right, guys, without any further ado, let's get into this, the Sims tree first impressions slash review. All right, guys, so this is what I see when I log into my page. I'm sorry that you can't see the entire thing, but you're not really missing much. You can pick light or dark for your display. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, you can pick your own color for your background. You can upload a photo. You can do um, your own custom color. That is so cool. But anyway, I'm just gonna go for this pink and purple one for now. So I don't really know how this works. So on the left here, it says my dynasties, um, my dynasty and add a dynasty and then my sim. So, hmm, name of dynasty. I'm gonna go for SimSav Legacy Challenge. I'm not gonna put a photo yet because I'm not really sure what I want, but let's just save that. Okay, so now it shows up here on the left. I wish you guys could see, there we go. There we go, that's a little better. <laughs> Um, how do I import from Plum Tree is the real question. Like, that is important. Instructions. Importing a ready made tree from Plum app. Ooh, there's a video and everything. Click on your profile icon in the drop down menu, select import tree. Unzip the archive. Okay, I need to locate my tree. If you did not export your Plum Tree app before it shut down, I'm not really sure if you can still do it. Okay, here we go. Tree import. I know that you're gonna want people and you're gonna want 
tree. Choose avatar files. Okay. Wow, it's really gonna upload all of my pictures and everything. That is so nice. Oh, hi everybody. Look at that. Okay, my avatars have been uploaded. Submit. I'm so excited. I have been so desperate <laughs> for a substitute. I miss Plumtree up so much, but I have high hopes for this one. All right, click the start import. The system will show the data import process. Um, after a successful import, you will see a new tree. Okay, not really sure how to delete trees yet, but let's go ahead and have a look at this uh, imported one that we just did. So here it is. It's very similar to Plum Tree, honestly, like the the interface. Yeah, that's pretty freaking cool. Let's make this one pink as well. I really like the pink pink background. It's so cute. I don't know what a lot of these buttons do, so let's see what we can do here. It looks like this list goes in order of when the sim was added and stuff like that. So I'm trying to go to Zoe so that we can like that was like my most recent heir that passed away. Oh, okay, okay. So this is just the tree that you see. In order to edit the sims on the tree, you go to my sims over here on the left. And then, um, yeah, I guess you can edit everything from here. Everything is so nicely like listed out. All of their traits are just right there. And then let's see what else we have. So I'm trying to go, we can do Lamar actually. So let's click on him and this is what we can see. So we can add photos to his gallery, um, add parents, add pets. That's so dope. So let me hit edit cause I want to, oh wow. Condition, dead. <laughs> Select a per kind, huh? Sim, okay, traits, life goals, additional fields. Okay, so is that just like other random things that we wanna to add to it? Okay, and then we have the description. I wonder if my descriptions um, transferred over to, okay, Zoe. Okay, yeah, my descriptions did. So you, um, this part I added myself, which is, uh, that's just like a way of me to keep track of like legacy things and points and stuff. So let's go ahead and edit this. Let's switch her to, yeah, I remember before I would have to like write deceased in their bio. So that's, that's pretty dope that I can just like set it like that. Okay. Yeah. And then you scroll over and you can see their aspiration as well. <laughs> Ren's like bio is so like like the skills that she maxed and all that stuff and all of her traits are all right here and she has so many so it's just like all the way over here. <laughs> I have a lot more sims I need to add to this tree so I'm gonna be updating this for you guys so that the the whole legacy family is on here and all that good stuff. I want to see if it is free to the public tree styling wow that's so cool it looks like you can add like x lovers and all that good stuff and you can see right here their pet is just like right next to them on the family tree instead of having its own like specific spot like let's see like um sir isaac right here <laughs> he's treated like a whole ass child but um um, in this new, in this new tree one, it's just kind of like a little thought bubble next to them, which is really cute. That's honestly really, really fun. I love a good, uh, customizing moment. All right. I'm going to log out now and I'm going to make a brand new account because I really want to see what's free and what's not. All right. Let's see what happens when we add a character. So it looks like you can upload a photo with the free one. Um, you can, <laughs> you, this is really, really cool. You can crop it, filter it, fine tune it, annotate it, decorate it, put a sticker. Um, yeah, they're just like little emojis or you can put an image on there. Yeah, you can like draw on it and everything. That's really freaking cool. It looks like you can put text on it. Yeah, you can like freely edit, put like filter. Oh man, the filters are so cool. Imagine me, like when a sim passes away, you can put the black and white filter on them. 
so that it shows clearly on the tree that they're not alive anymore. That'd be pretty sick. Pretty freaking sick. All right, this is my sim. She's looking pretty good. Just gonna hit done. Savannah, I'm very much alive. Type. You can type in what type of sim they are. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna leave all that blank for now. I just wanna see what we can do with the free version. We can add pets. So what you can do is you can add all of your sims all at once from this window here, your My Sims window. And then once all your sims are added and all that good stuff, you go back to your dynasty. There is a little pen right there. You just like turn that on so that the tree is editable. And then you will do put the plus button Oh, nope, that's to add a child or a parent. Um, you'll hit settings, you'll select which sim you want this uh, section to be, and then, yeah, you can add up or down, which is dope, so you can add parents or you can add kids. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's so cool, that is so neat. And then you can add partners right here with the little heart icon. Everything is very, very, like, smooth so you can put partner spouse ex friends engaged divorce brother sister um widow and widower and then um all of the sims that you added under the my sims section will show up right here that's really dope and it looks like with the free version you're able to you're able to change the background and everything as well. So what exactly comes with the subscription? Can you do the gallery thing with the free one? Okay, it looks like... Okay. So the gallery portion, like uploading multiple pictures for one sim, does not come with the free version. I don't really know if you're gonna be able to like share it. Oh, public link, get a link. Okay! Cool. So it looks like you can share your tree for free, which is nice. And then um, if you want like the gallery feature, you'll have to pay for that as well. But honestly, like just being able to have <laughs> uh, the ability to make a family tree just for yourself, even just to keep track of everything. And the fact that you can share it is pretty clutch too for like everyone else that has a YouTube and stuff. Yeah, guys, I think this is an adequate replacement for Plum Tree app. I'm so freaking stoked. I'm so thankful. I wonder, can you upload the background? Okay, so if you want like a custom background for your tree as well, you'll have to pay for that. A live dead status color, that's cool too. Show a live dead status of person. I wonder what it looks like when when they are deceased. Let's have a look at that. Hmm, I'm actually not sure. I don't know, I don't really know what that does. Person full name color. You can change the color of the text as well. Oh my God, that is so cool. Also, if you wanna import your tree from the Plum Tree app, it looks like you have to pay for that as well. So it is $26 a year, um, or you can do like, 15 bucks every six months or three bucks a month. I wonder if you just like pay the one charge for one month for for three dollars if you can just like import your tree and then cancel your subscription after that. There might be a limit on how many family trees you can have as well with the free one. I'm not really sure about that. So yeah, here's an example of a tree that they have. Um, I will link this for you in the description if you wanna have a look at it yourself. But um, yeah, I love the little pet bubbles. I think that's such a cute addition. I love the little broken heart. <laughs> and then you click on them and you, know, you can see, let's see, let's have a look at this lady. She's got a whole gallery going on, which is pretty amazing. You can upload like all of your Sims most important moments there. Parents, pets, gender, type, character traits, life goals. And then their little bio here. Sim card, I like that. <laughs> Always at hand on any device. The service is fully adapted for mobile phones. Oh, wow. Well, that's dope too. Okay, here we go. This is an um, explanation of everything that comes with the free and comes with the one that you pay for. So with the free access, 
Create a complete tree, no restrictions on characters or gens. Select from suggested backgrounds, possibility to share a tree, and avatar editor. And then you have the uh, subscription. So an unlimited number of trees, possibility of tree import from Plum Tree app, setting up custom fields in the character card. Ah, yes, that was something that was missing. Upload a custom background for the tree, using a photo editor and other additional features for the creative process, a photo gallery for each character and tree, and much more because the functionality is constantly being updated. Okay, yeah, this, <laughs> this website is also super cute, really easy to use, very clear. I'm a fan, guys. I really am. I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to like start uh, updating my legacy tree. I kind of want to make a tree for like every single one of my Let's Plays now. <laughs> like, why not? You know, why not just keep track of everything? Because I'm definitely like the type of person that likes to document and um, keep track of things. And because my memory is trash, I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's so bad. So having something like this to like go back onto, like refer to so nice and the fact that you can just like make like little notes for the character it's very easy to keep track of um challenge things because i've got like a notebook of legacy stuff i've got notes on my ipad i've got notes on my phone so i think that like whenever i'm playing this i'm just gonna have this website open and i'm just gonna take my notes here now um oh i see it now it's right here dead okay so if we <laughs> if we turn that off yeah it just won't be there anymore okay i just couldn't see it because my background is so light and pink i hope that you are as excited i am about this new website pretty freaking amazing i was crushed to hear about about plum tree and uh, I knew it was a matter of time before someone made something very similar. So, so very thankful to The Sims Tree for making something for us that we could use. Let me know if you guys are gonna make your own tree. Let me know how you're how you're liking it if you tried it already. When I got this email, I was very excited and I wanted to share it with you ASAP Rocky. So here we are. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more content from me, I've got a Twitch channel, I've got a vlog channel. I got the whole nine yards linked in my description. So I hope to see you guys on other platforms as well. I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.